Um, and so we'll just kick it off with just having Xander Matthew Lager introduce themselves. Uh, Xander, most importantly, please uh, oh. please mute Xander uh, throughout oh. the rest of the Hi guys, I'm Matthew David Rudd. I play Panda. <laughs> Uh, uh, hi, I'm uh, Xander Mobis. I play uh, Inumaki in the uh, movie and also Toto in uh, the series. Hi, my name is Allegra Clark and I play uh, Maki. She's just like me. <sighs> and who yeah. else do you play, Allegra? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, I would remind you that you, you, you play Kazumi Miwa. Maybe. Oh, Kazume Miwa, right. <laughs> in the series. My favorite. My in favorite. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll kick it off with Big Gold <laughs> Belt Media. You take it off. Hi, my name is Carrie Lane. Are we still running this joke or? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, it, we it. are. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> All the way to the finish. Yeah, we gotta keep, we gotta stick with this now. Like, no, we, we're I committing to it. the bit. In, in room three, we it. commit to the bit. <laughs> Okay, so Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is amongst the top 10 most successful movies of all time in Japan. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. No pressure. 106 million US dollars. A lot of money there. And right, let's talk about pressure because my question is, did knowing that now that the release is on the way and knowing that, you know, it did very successful, did that add any bit of pressure or let's say motivation stepping into the booth to record the English dub. I don't know, you know? but like, I, I feel like we've been with this story long enough. And like one, one of the things I genuinely adore about like this show is that like everyone in the cast really comes to play for it. Like there's mm -hmm. a real sense of love in the cast. There's a real sense of um, the like just people giving a, a poopy. I'm not supposed to swear. <laughs> um, <laughs> So I, I think everybody came in already just being like, we're going to, oh, we got to, we got to kick the hell out of this because we, it's just, oh, we were already like, we already loved, the, you know, our characters in the story. So. Yeah, it was already our baby even prior to this. So when they, when they said, you know, oh, you're, you're going to be doing the movie. It was like, cool. I get to continue playing with these characters yeah. in a weird, in a way it's like, we knew it was going to be a theatrical release, but it was also like, it's sort of the same reaction I think any of us had to when they did announce that there was going to be a season two, you know, it's just like, oh yeah, we get to keep playing. We get to keep living in this world. And then they were like, it was immensely successful. And I'm like, cool. I hope they love it here too. That was kind of my reaction. It's like, I hope they love I hope American audiences and, and well, global audiences at this point uh, like love it as much as we love it and love working on it, et cetera. Yeah, on it, honestly, like to reiterate, I think the pressure is off when you're yeah. when you're able. I, I think the pressure was on to find the voices, find the characters throughout the first season. And it's so nice to revisit them now in the movie format, because I know, you know, I know what the humor's like. I know what the action's like, you know, yeah. so I can hit that. I can hit that as hard as I as I know that I need to now. Yeah, we know these we know these characters. Yeah, awesome. Thank you, Carrie. You're up next. Hello. Good morning. So, Hello. if you could pick a curse fighting style, what would you ah. pick and why? And it could be your character style, or you could make one up. <laughs> oh, I'm going first. Pick one up. Oh, okay. I'm going first. Uh, Toge's curse I, I know i know both of you said you wouldn't you wouldn't want that if it were real life but toge is the coolest character i'm not just saying that because allegra is in the room uh but <laughs> um i love that kind of character especially in a story like in, a, in an action scene where like they're they're laying back they're laying low and then all of a sudden he rips out his mask and says like something amazing and, and amazing things happen i would want that yeah um oh Gosh, I don't know. I, hmm, I gave, I feel, I do feel like Maki's as much as the, you know, the, there, it's a heavenly restriction. So as much as it's just like, you don't get to see spirits, you don't, you can't manipulate cursed energy, womp womp. That part is obviously not something she enjoys, but at the same time, like she catches a bullet in the show. Like, come on. She's so badass. Um, it's a, she's badass normal. 
in the sense that she's just a really good and really strong fighter. And I respect that a lot. I'm going to go with Gojo because I like winning things very easily. <laughs> you like fair. having any power at your disposal at any given moment of time? <laughs> that sounds that sounds good to me, yeah. You know what? I would take I would take Maki's fighting style, but only if I could take like Gojo's eye color because oh my god! Oh, he's got them baby blues. He's, oh, yeah. His eyes are so pretty. I'm like, you're prettier than me. That's not fair. Like... Say nice things about Panda. Oh well, the lovely <laughs> thing about Panda is that uh, he's, he gives uh, great hugs. First off, uh, he yes, does yes, give yes. great hugs. He is he's a lover, and we thank appreciate you. That thank you. Oh, thank you. You guys didn't have to say that. Thank you. No, no, we didn't have to. No, <laughs> they're good, strong bear hugs. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yep. <laughs> Nadia, I'll toss it to you. Uh, I guess kind of piggybacking off that, uh, Togi uh, has a unique ability as a cursed speech user. Uh, does it depend on the word how much his cursed energy is exerted? And can you tell us about your, I guess, if, how can his training, can he get stronger even though he has like a natural birth ability? How uh, do you think yes. you can handle expanding on that? He can definitely get stronger. In fact, I think uh, once we finally get the spin-off series off the ground, where it's entirely him <laughs> reciting, it's just the him. Yeah, it's just None a, of it, the the, the uh, rest of us aren't there. It's just well, no. It'd have to be. I'm like, we need more. Buddy cop thing. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, panda's it's got to translate. All right. Well, it's I like, guess I guess no well, Maki's, going through culinary school. Maki gets um, her own spin-off where she just murders everyone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll watch I, all those. <laughs> I do think the word choice matters. Uh, I think intention also matters. I think like rice ball ingredients are like sort of a safe zone. Yeah. Um, as far as, oh boy, as far as does he actually have room to grow? I mean, I, I, I really hope so. I am not a Nostradamus, so I don't know where the manga is going. But uh, yeah, he, he's just such a, a fun, like, it's such a it's such a unique ability right where it's like yeah. dude could kill anybody and mm -hmm. he has to just consciously choose not to every single day and i hello dog uh and <laughs> yeah hi i was worried my cat was going to interrupt and it's just been your dog the entire time instead i know this is jordy uh he's hi jordy kind of like toge in that he can't talk <laughs> but um, he has so much to say he George, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I, I answered that terribly, but I really hope so. It is one of the coolest abilities I've ever seen, and he's a blast. And obviously, he's the greatest character in the history of literature, like Hamlet. <laughs> so, I would imagine that a lot of it is gonna it has to do with his stamina building and his ability okay. to. Mm -hmm. Not because it, it, the the drawback to him using his cursed speech is that he gets really bad sore throats. So it's almost like you know he has to go through like yeah like heavy metal training and you know really like learn how to shred his voice oh, without I like safely. I don't, I don't want to. He has to become a voice actor. <laughs> he has to become a voice actor. Yeah. You know what? I don't know why they they have him here. T send him to an acting academy, a speech yes. training, like speech pathologist. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. There we go. We're we're talking out our asses right now. We're <laughs> that's like the goodness. worst spinoff is him going to <laughs> him dropping out of culinary school to go to. All right. So here's the college. thing. I have never seen anyone whose throat is as fucked as you. What happened? <laughs> it's a, there's a spinoff episode of him going to a, a speech pathologist. Um, yes, yes. Uh, you know, like them putting the scope in his throat and going, so your vocal cords are sure in shape, aren't they? What are you doing? What kind of vocal stress are you doing? You know, do you need to go on vocal rest? Salmon row. <laughs> Did we answer this question at all? <laughs> Anthony is never going to get to ask his question. <laughs> no, we're going to be, we're going to be riffing for the next 15 minutes. I am so sorry, Anthony. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Anthony, it is your time. <laughs> Yay! Yay! All right. Well, uh, I wish I had a smarter question than this, but uh, my question is for Matthew, and it's kind of, I guess, brought, uh, on the broader level of the series as a whole. I've always been curious. Uh, do you remember when you first realized Panda is literally a bear? He's literally a bear. 
Well, we were having a conversation a, a minute ago, and and he's not literally a bear, right? Yeah. Uh, they the the fascinating thing, and and I kind of love it. Um, there's a humor to the way the manga is written, and it's definitely coming through in the in the anime where Panda is a joke, right? Uh, he's there to help set up humor, and he's there to be an enigma in himself, and all that sort of thing, and and every time you think you're going to get an answer uh there's a joke that happens where you don't get an answer and and i, I love that it's frustrating of course in the same way that you're asking this question because we want to know more answers about what he is or who he is or how he became uh how he is uh but I, at the same time i i i love the mystery of it uh there, there's a thing that happens in the movie that i'm not going to spoil that just adds another layer to to what he is, who he is, and and they don't they don't say a thing about it. Yeah, we it's were like you about you that. you see it visually happen on screen, and and then it's just brushed off. Like I said, it's a joke. It's a setup for a joke. Like oh, it's no big deal. I'm fine. You know that sort of thing. Um, I mean, it's it's kind of the humor behind the you know every time the three of them are introduced, it'll be like this is. Maki Zenin from the Zenin mm -hmm. clan. This is Togi Maki from you know he has cursed speech. And that's panda. I'm a panda. Yeah, I'm a panda. I'm a bear. <laughs> like, um, um, so yeah. so I mean, long way to answer your question. Like, I don't know that he is a bear. You know, and 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 I think that's the point. We don't know what he is, and and I'm I can't wait to find out. He talks about his older sister being being in his body as well. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> uh, I hope I get to do her voice. <laughs> No, they're um, actually but, they're going to be bringing in a celebrity for that one. So, um. oh, nice. It's me. I'm the celebrity. Hi. It's going to say Sander <laughs> Mobis. Uh, yet another character in Jujutsu Kaisen. Play Hello, it is me, Pandas <laughs> Sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. In case you haven't noticed, you're in the goofball room right now. <laughs> I hope that answers your question, Anthony. Uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Was it worth the wait, Anthony? 100%. Oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> we'll bring it back up top, big old belt. All right. So, since we're on jokes time, we might as well transition <laughs> to sexy talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. yeah. Um, so, I do want to know with this film having such a deep pool of emotion, and as you said, with Panda, especially with sexy talk time, um, mm -hmm. it, this creates the balance and this creates, um, you know, the comedic factor to it to keep things kind of, like I said, balanced but light. But for you, I want to know, uh, Matthew, you know, have you been able to kind of push the limit on these lines? And how do you kind of go through the process of like vetting what's being said and also keeping it true to the translation? Yeah, that's a fascinating thing. Uh, it, and, and Panda didn't get much of it in the series, but like the, the cultural references, like the American cultural references are, are, are a fascinating thing. And, and so... I'm going to kind of answer this in the same way that I answered the first question. It was super fun for me to go into the movie knowing what the expectation is, right? Yeah. Um, knowing what the humor was going to be like. I, I felt like, you know, one of my favorite things from the series was the Juju Strolls at the end, right? Those were always <laughs> amazing. Um, and I feel like after doing all of those, I finally understood what the humor they were going for with. If I could go back and and redo some of my humor in some of those, I, th I think I could do it better, which was so nice to be able to do in the movie. And, and not to mention, like you said, uh, you know, Yuji had that moment in, in the series where he, he got to talk about, uh, you know, which body parts he liked best. So, and, and Xander, you were, you were part of that as well. But uh, in the movie, you know, that's Panda's bit. And, and I, I thought it, it came off really funny. <laughs> I really just want to hear Adam, like, do that bit but like in an Al Pacino impression like trying <laughs> his best to just go he got a great head <laughs> and your head is all up in it um we all have seen heat right uh yeah. but you know what's funny Xander is, is I go to a lot of conventions with Adam like he and I go travel a lot together and it is so funny to be like answering a question to a fan and then and then he comes in off the off the side with something about megan the stallion or about you know you know liking big butts or it, it's funny it's a good oh, time I love it. we're gonna make him do it we're we're uh, doing an event this weekend i'm so gonna make him we're gonna oh, film yeah. him doing that and send it to you xander oh thank you yeah, i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna try to remember to ask him oh, <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> yeah gary back to you 
Yes. All right. Well, continuing the fun, what do you think your character would do for spring break? My I mean, your students and all, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely Miami. Um, really, uh, honestly, mostly just because nobody could hear him talk, like in a rave. You know? <laughs> There's no expectations. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah, no, he's just got to dance. Well, the best well, part is I can imagine him at a rave, just like standing there silently, like just like vibing with the music, but not dancing. And everyone's like, what's up with this guy? Tuna mayo. Panda just tearing mm-hmm. it up on the floor. Yeah, seriously, I was going to say, you know, these three spring break together. Like, there's no chance that they don't. See? So, like, I, yeah. I, I actually disagree. I think oh, Mothy's geez. got a bit of a, like, a, she's a little bit of a wet blanket. Let's be real here. Yeah. And I think, I think she'd be like, I don't have to go anywhere. I'm just going to train more. Like, I've got to, like, I got to be stronger. I got to do stuff. And, like, Panda probably, like, forcibly grabs her and, mm-hmm. like, you know, takes her to the beach or something but you know she's she's so driven and she's so goal-oriented that she's just like what's a vacation like what's a break yeah but yeah I know I'm the I'm the I'm the the fun one over here <laughs> <laughs> no but she is she is a little bit of a, of a wet blanket in that regard she's uh she's very she's so like and then certainly at this point in her in her arc she's so not about like relaxing and having fun and making friends and stuff like that she's so goal oriented but you know maybe maybe a few years down the line you know they'll they'll you know i i i would like to see the three of them at santa con i'm making such a new york reference right now santa i just con. i th- i think panda would be so much fun at santa con <laughs> i think toge would be very dangerous drunk <laughs> oh god oh my gosh oh no you know, when they're yeah. all of age and they can drink, I think they should all go drinking together. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the here's the thing. It's like Panda goes with Toge anywhere because when Toge gets drunk and surly, he has to continue to tell everyone what a sweet boy he is, right? <laughs> and let me tell you, sir. No, no, no. No, 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 no. no, no, sweet, no, no. Boy. <laughs> sweet boy. <laughs> sweet boy, just a giant panda hand over the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> and- that guys is our time. I appreciate you all. I know it goes by so quickly. We're having so much fun there. Um, but I appreciate all of your time. Thanks so much. Obviously, Xander, Matthew, Allegra, if you guys have any sort of last bit of comments, please do say now, but thank you all around for being here. Yeah. Thank you guys for chatting with us this fine morning. Um, Yeah. We appreciate you. Yeah. We're morning or time zone. Merry time zone. Merry time zone to you all. (laughs) Big old bell.